I am revealing the best AI tool that will bring your African folktale storytelling to life like never before. Stick around because by the ending part of this video, I'm going to teach you or you are going to learn how to create a vibrant, detailed, culturally what accurate images that suits your African folktale storytelling. This AI is actually a free AI, so you don't need to pay dime for anything. And you are going to get an accurate result. That's one. And secondly, this AI is going to give you a highly realistic images and can convert your images to video for free. And you can generate unlimited images and unlimited videos using this particular AI. But before you can be able to assess all these things, there is actually a particular method that I use that grant me the access to use this particular AI for free. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys in this, in this video. So this video is not that type of video you can actually skip, 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 just for you to get at the ending part of it. If you do that automatically, you will be missing out on how I was able to crack this particular AI and use it for free and unlimited. So let us dive into the free tutorial video, my people. First thing you need to do is to generate the script for your story. So to do that, you will be using your chat GPT. So once I come to my chat GPT, I just don't want to waste much time. So I'll be using this story that I actually created for this, this forbidden river. So once you come to your chat GPT, like I explained to you guys before, make sure you add a very good information about your story so that chat gpt will generate a perfect story for you as you can see just my first prompt look at how long it is do you understand uh -huh. this is should give you a typical example of what i mean when you want to prompt chat gpt to do something for you make sure you add a very good you know prompt a very good write-up or a very good in, um, instruction to chat gpt so after that now i've gotten my chapter one of the story chapter two chapter three I think it should be the total of 10 chapters. Do you understand? So after I've gotten the story chapters, the next thing I need to do is to generate my images for this story. Now look at the prompt. I gave ChatGPT for the images. So I was like, what? Give me two tests to image prompt for each chapter of my story. Include age, hairstyle, dressing code, and facial structure for consistency. So when I did this, ChatGPT clearly understood what... I actually wanted and how I wanted it. Do you understand? So they came up with this. So as you can see, they have added all the basic stuff for me. So the only thing I need to do is just to identify the ethic of this character, of this person. So you can say Igbo, Igbo woman, Igbo girl, Yoruba girl, Hausa girl, Fulani girl, American girl. So you have to do those basic prompts yourself to get an accurate result. Do you understand? But ChatGPT has actually given you the basic and the most important thing you need to know. Do you understand? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to like edit any of this prompt. I will just be using the prompt like that to show you guys exactly how you can actually convert all your African folktale, you know, characters. Or can I say all your African folktale chapters to video and how to generate images too for free using just a particular ai so after you've gotten everything like this next thing you need to do is first to go to your phone so when you go to your phone you search for this particular vpn that says what well, thunder vpn then if you do not have this vpn all you need to do is just to come to your play store this is play store when you come to play store you just come here and search for what thunder vpn so once you search for Thunder VPN, definitely it's going to come up. So once you come up, you download it from there. Do you understand? So this is the this is the VPN. In case if you do not know the VPN, this is the VPN. So as you can see, it's downloaded. That's why you are seeing installed here. Good. So next thing I need to do is to go ahead and open this Thunder VPN. So once you tap on it, it will open like this. Let me just start from the beginning. Good. It will open like this. Then here is where you can select a specific country you want to connect with. So as you can see, I have all, I can access all of them. So I'm just be using, let me use United States. So once this stuff is connected, next thing you need to do is to go to your Chrome browser. So once you come to your Chrome browser from here, search for what? Dreaminary. So this is it. Can you see Dreaminary? Dreaminary. 
Dreaminarina, have you something? Dreaminia, have you something? I don't know how to pronounce it. So once you click on it, this is how it will open. Now, the reason I'm using VPN to log into this particular AI is because this AI, Nigerians cannot actually access this particular AI for now. Do you understand? So for you to have access to it, you need, you know, to change your location. If you are based in Nigeria, you need to change your location. Now, as you can see, fully in, I am here. Do you understand? And if you should look by the side, you will notice something here. Can you see there is zero? What is zero simply means is this. You are not paying time to work on this particular AI or to create anything on this particular AI. So that is the work of that. Then after that, now you need, you know, a law. You need to create an account with this um, account. Be with this. Sorry, you need to create an account with this AI. So your full interface will display like this. Do you understand now but before i dive into this video i just want to show you guys some works that i've actually done here so i have to go to my assets so once i come to my asset i'm only showing the videos so these are the videos i've actually created with this particular ai then here are the images that i've created also with this particular ai do you understand so now this is how this stuff actually works once you come to this place watch me once you come to this place you tap on this place let me show you you tap on this place that says what ai image let me zoom in and see if i can actually zoom this in okay good so you tap on this place that says what ai image so once you tap by the side you see this stuff first i'll be doing what okay first let me create image then i'll be doing image and image to video do you understand so you understand or see clearly the result and know if you can actually give this AI a try. Do you understand? So first thing first now is just to go back to my chat GPT and copy the first image prompt there. So coming to this place, like I said, I will just be using it exactly like that. I'm not adding any editing to those prompts. Do you understand? So this is the Forbidden River. So here is my first prompt. So I have to copy this prompt. From here, I'm copying this prompt down to this place. You see that? Good. The next thing I have to do is quickly come here and then paste that prompt here. So once I paste my prompt, this is how everything will look like. Do you understand? Now, I want to do image to video. Don't forget. Sorry, I want to do test to image. So it's already selected here. It's on AI image. Good. Then after that, next thing I need to do is just to hit on this arrow facing up here you see that so once you tap on this arrow your image will start generating immediately now as you can see 10 percent 20 percent is gone out of that image so let's exercise patient and see how this stuff turns out to be do you understand now my people look at the images we got here let me just zoom in so you see do you see how realistic these two images are then look at this one too an amazing part about this thing is this you can actually use this ai to generate a consistent image do you understand now if i want a consistent image let me just try i've not done it before but let me see if i can get a consistent image with this particular ai so what i'm going to do is just to come back to this place i'm just going to change some settings here so what i'm going to do is generate a realistic image of okay let me just put off a nigerian girl Of a Nigerian girl, comma dress. That is, I've not done it before, so I have rephrased the prompt. But the only thing I added to the prompt is just the direction that this girl is actually putting. Do you understand? So let me see if this AI is going to change the direction and still maintain the face of the first image. Now, boom, guys, this is really amazing. Now, as you can see, the dressing has been changed. Are you seeing it? And this girl still have the same face. Are you seeing that? The same face, the same face, but different dressing. Here, no bead, but here, there is bead. Are you seeing that? You see that? Good. And this image are of high realistic. So this is how to go about generating your image. Now, let me show you how you can actually do for video. Do you understand? So I'll be using the same prompt again for video. So let me see how the video will turn out to be. And let me see if I can still have the same face of this particular girl. Do you understand? So if at this point you've not subscribed to this channel, it's super, super important to subscribe and turn on notification sign. So you always do get notified whenever what I drop, you know, a useful and informative um, tips like this for your African folk story creating journey. So coming to this place, don't forget what I said earlier. So here, 
let me just copy this prompt because i'll be needing the prompt exactly as it is do you understand so that's what i'm doing like this so once you copy here i'm changing it to video this time around so here i'm going to paste the prompt back now here you can change this stuff to what you can change it to you can change it to five seconds but the maximum you can generate is 10 seconds can you see five and ten so i'm leaving it on 10 seconds then after that i'm going to hit my create so let me see the video that i'll be having this time around now look at what this ai actually said he said couldn't generate video now try later again i think this should be network so let me re re tap on it and see if this is actually network guys for the image now let me create another image and see if i can get an if i can get a call to action image something like someone pointing or stuff like that do you understand so this one says what create an image let me see i want to generate another image and see how this stuff looks like so this one says create an image of mama root a 55 year old dark-skinned african woman with a round thing okay this um, disapproval why washing rules work okay um i think let me go with this one i need something that has call to action okay so this one is okay so i'm going with this one so once I copy this one, I'm going back to this particular AI. Then don't forget once you come to this AI, all you need to do is just to select the option and change it to what AI image. Then here, I'm pasting another prompt like this now. So copy this and I'm putting this. Now this one says what illustrate Mama Root in a dimly room hut pointing angrily at what at Rose. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm not adding anything here. Let me just hit and see if this ai can actually generate a call to action image because there are some ais that when you use angry sad pointing stuff like that is not going to generate the image but let me see if this one can actually generate it and not just generate let me see if it can give you that vibe of someone being angry do you understand because that's the goal of african folktale story once your images can actually explain or express the feelings on that particular chapter you will see your video skyrocketing with a lot a lot of views now look at the images i have so why do i have a cartoon stuff um the truth of the matter is it actually gave me the result of what i wanted do you understand but i think i need to rephrase this to get a perfect result now for me to rephrase it look at what i will do it's not a magic so here that says illustrate so i will be like what create a realistic so i will be like create so I'll be like create a realistic create a realistic create a realistic image of Mamangoze. You see that? Okay, I will be like create a realistic Nigerian image. Nigerian image of Mamangozi. So this is just the only thing I'll be adding. So let me hit and see if it will still give me a comic, you know, style image or a realistic one. Now, as you can see now, I have gotten a perfect image. Can you see? So all you need to do is just to rephrase your prompt to get what you want. And now look at it. Can you see? Mamangozi in a what? In a dimly hot room. Now, as you can see, this image actually portrays what that prompt is actually talking about so if left for me i think this is the ai that i've been using so far and it's really giving me that vibe do you understand and my videos are really getting massive views on my african folktale story and i believe that if you should use the same thing maximum result will be your will be will be your portion when it comes to african folktale story so thank you so much and if you get value from this particular video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video and let me know in the comment section what you learned from this particular video bye and catch you guys on my next tutorial video guys